Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders recently signed legislation weakening child labor protections. This did not happen by accident. Conservative billionaire Charles Koch and his late brother David have pushed to lift restrictions on child labor for years. In 1980, David Koch was the Libertarian nominee for vice president, promising the abolition of child labor laws. In 2014, the Cato Institute, a think tank co-founded and funded by the Koch brothers, published a case against child labor prohibitions. Working at a sweatshop is the best option to poor children, the piece argues, in 2016, in response to a haunting photo essay of child laborers in the 1900s, a Koch-funded nonprofit published a piece called Let the Kids Work. The author lamented that the children today are denied any chance to realize their human value in gainful employment. Former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, who received millions in support from the Cokes, eliminated restrictions on how many hours 16 and 17 year olds could work. Last year, the National Federation of Independent Business, a group that has received millions from the Coke network, teamed up with a bevy of companies to lobby for state level bills to erode child labor protections, citing the labor shortage as a justification. Since 2020, Coke Industries has contributed $13,000 to the sponsors of the Arkansas Youth Hiring Act and Governor Sanders. The effort goes well beyond Arkansas. In Iowa, lawmakers are proposing to rewrite the state's child labor laws to remove a prohibition against 14 and 15 year olds working in freezers and meat coolers. Three Coke funded groups are lobbying for the bill. This is Popular Information, a newsletter that holds the powerful accountable. Now follow along here and subscribe for more accountability journalism.